Now for these questions, we're dividing by a multiple of 10, and we can do this mentally. If we write out our first question, 400 divided by 80, what we can do is cancel our two end zeros. And that leaves us with 40 divided by 8. Now 40 divided by 8 is 5, so our answer is 5. Now it's really important this cancelling trick only works if what you have left after you cancel is divisible. So because 40 is in the 8 times table, we can use the cancelling trick. But if the question had said 440 divided by 80, we'd be left with 44 divided by 8. And because 44 isn't in the 8 times table, the cancelling trick wouldn't work. But for the rest of these questions, it does. So 490 divided by 70. You can spot that if we cancel, we get 49 divided by 7. And 49 is in the 7 times table. That's 7 times 7. So 490 divided by 70 is 7. And 720 divided by 60, we can cancel the end zeros, so then we just have 72 divided by 6, which is 12. So 720 divided by 60 is 12. So you can see here, 400 divided by 80 gives the same answer as 40 divided by 8. And 490 divided by 70 gives the same answer as 49 divided by 7. And 720 divided by 60, you can just do 72 divided by 6 and you'll have your answer.